All right. Well, we'll look at the we'll look at the maps real quick. We'll look at the maps real quick. Anybody can see that it's there's a King of the Sea qualification tournament has been posted. We've got the EU and the NA dates. Nifty. Oh, okay. NA is one weekend less. Interesting. Yeah, so usually King of the Sea does special maps. You can, you can, oh, click here to go to the map pool. It's not even, oh. It's an Imgur. Really? Really? You're going to make me look at other ads so I can look at the map pool. Your skill is luck. I mean, luck is part of it. I'm my skill is my, my skill is 69% luck. Anyway, so we've got Land of Fire. Okay. I I like this. This is going to be interesting. That's going to pull a lot more people off to the side of of the map. It's a caster. That's exciting to me. B cap in the traditional spot is fine. A being closer means you're going to get teams that are going to have to choose which way do they want to go, one way or the other. Moving on, north. Oh my god, five caps? Five cap layout. Five cap layout. All right, we're writing this one down as a Zat chat too. I have decided. This this is ridiculous. Cots, maps. What the hell indeed? We cooked. <laughs> it's going to be so hard for us to cast these tournaments. It's going to be so hard because there's going to be so much going on all over the place. Look how big ECAP is. So my problem with this map with North Land of Fire, by the way, I like this change. I'm excited about it. I'm here for it. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. I like the idea of the cap layout the way it is, with the with the islands forming separate boundaries. However, I will say I feel like the the northern no. I don't know. We'll have to see. The D cap, this area is pretty pretty powerful. On the C cap, this whole area is pretty powerful too. And this area gives you the ability to fire off into, possibly, depending on where you are, maybe back here, you can fire over the channel into B to help there. At the decap, you really can't. So I think the north might have an advantage there. North doesn't have enough caps, yes. All right, anyway, back to north. Um, so there are so many teams that already push up the 910 line. Like, that's that's like a standard push. I don't know that we need to incentivize that even further. To me, that just that just feels bad. Um, and it's a big cap, too, so there's going to be a lot of fighting over it. Oh, okay, and, and take a look at these islands. These islands here are your traditional radar cruiser, Des Moines, Salem positions. Honestly, it, here's what's going to happen. Mini, SAT, you guys have cast. You, you're probably going to agree with me on this. What's going to happen is we're going to say, oh, look, there's a Salem behind this rock. Oh, look, there's a Des Moines behind that rock. Anyway, and we're going to move on and start talking about some other part of the map. And we're going to completely forget that this exists for like five minutes. And then something's going to happen and one of the ships is going to die. And then everybody's like, Mr. Caster, why didn't you see it? I'm sorry. That's boring as all hell. Um, the action's going to uh, uh, on both sides, but hey, panoramics. Eh, whatever. Anyway, north, whatever, fine. All right, Mini's map. They are really messing with caps this, this time around. So we've got the cap outside the Thunderdome. We got the, the cap in the middle, and then we've got... So I think Wargaming... Wargaming has heat maps. They're called heat maps, and what they do is they follow where ships of different classes go in order to, um, you know, inform decisions on map design and balance. Th these caps make me feel like they're trying to incentivize players to go more to this side of the map. Much like North was incentivizing, I don't know, the same play. And Land of Fire was definitely an in incentivizing Eastern side. So, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, heat, ma heat maps for years would be great information. Um, But, meh. And you, Churchill, you're right. You're right. I, I, I didn't read everything that you wrote. I've skimmed it, but you're absolutely correct. Skill is not just about doing damage, getting kills, ending up on the top end of the scoreboard. 100%. Um, anyways, so this is... Again, you're going to get a radar cruiser over here. You're going to get a radar cruiser over here. You guys can see... Yeah, you can see my cursor. And, and it, it's going to be whatever. You're going to get destroyers that are going to go up to this island and this island. 
Hydro Destroyers could be very, very sexy because of that, like, uh, whatever, but... Alright. Uh, trap. <laughs> what the F is that abomination? Um, Shockwave, just one sec, if you don't mind. Oh, Lee Hell. So, oh, okay. Yes, a quarter cap, essentially, in the corner. So, you've got, you've got the center cap here. Fine. That's the traditional. You got the caps over here, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to encourage gameplay up here. And normally there is some. There's usually some gameplay over here, but I think they're trying to encourage people to go wide for the side. Anyway, Shockwave, go ahead. What, what, what do you want to say? Well, actually, I, first of all, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, so I had an opportunity to you know, take a look at these maps a little bit earlier. Um, I'd actually like to start from the top, if you don't mind. Oh, hold, like, we didn't, hold on a sec. I, I'm sorry, I didn't notice we, there's more. So oh, if you want to start, oh, if you want to start on the top, hold on a second, because hold the phone. Yeah. We have to look at hotspot now. Once again, same thing yeah. up the, up the 910 line. And over on the 23 line, we've got two caps now instead of the one. Okay. This area, the, the one two line is, is a typical area you're going to send two, maybe three ships out towards. C in the middle, fine, whatever. And then D on the 910, this, this is like north. There's usually somebody that's going up and, and, and whatever. So, I don't... And the spawn. So far to the side, you're going to get a lot of ships going up, the, up this uh, 910 line. You're going to see French destroyers especially... Busting butt to get over to the the, the the cap on their side. Maybe even trying to curl up. That's going to force both teams. Prisoner's Dilemma, right? Both teams are going to have to send at least two ships out on this side. It is, it's about shaking up cots. Cthulhu, you're right. It, it's it's messing with, with strategies. You're absolutely correct there, Cthulhu. I will even take it a step farther and say this is Wargaming saying we don't want to break up the comps by, you know, instituting artificial things like ship bands or point systems like Warship Masters is on a point system. And instead they want to use the maps as a way to shake things up. Honestly, what's going to happen is we're going to see a, a meta shape up and, and that that's, that's going to be it. Um, Shatter. God, I hate this map. Okay, Shatter doesn't look any, any different. And then Warrior's Path. Ah, whatever. Sea cap a little bit more, and so there's there's this little area here now, that's like a safe spot. Minnie, I'm blaming you for this. W weren't you supposed to like, make sure this doesn't happen? Okay, and now we now we got cat stuff. Yay, meow. All right, let's go to the very top here. All right, shockwave, go. This is amazing. <laughs> right. So with. Land of Fire, uh, one of the big things, obviously, as you mentioned, is is going to be the fact that... Uh, actually, one second, let me turn off my uh, push to talk. Okay, and do me a favor, if you can, just try to say one thing about each map, because I do want to get through this and get to replays today, if you don't mind. Play safe, sure cap, or go for doubles, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's basically just... Uh, we're going to see a lot more action, I think, towards the CND side, obviously, because mm -hmm. that is the defensive side. Uh, I would also expect to see a lot of um, island hugging around B, particularly with that big island at B, maybe looking for cross shots through A and or C yep. and D, depending yep. on which side of the island you're on. Yep. Okay. And th yeah, that's my thoughts for that map. Okay. Thanks for keeping uh, it brief. I, I just I don't want to I don't want to drag this out. So. Of course. Uh, for north. north for north, the uh, five cap layout is actually quite interesting. I'd expect to see a lot of destroyer play around. Uh, you, you see a lot of fast destroyers going for AB just because those are so wide out. Yep. Uh, so we see clubs more saws. I'd expect to see a lot of um, very intense action 
around CND, ECAP might be a little bit less contested just due to how open it is. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a Napoli or something fast like a Marseille out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my thoughts for North. Okay. I want to go real back uh, up, real quick, up back up. Decap here is an absolute safe spot on Golf 8. Yes, it does. That flat spot there is a traditional safe position, Cthulhu, and we're definitely mm -hmm. going to see uh, cruisers butting up to that. I like this position up here too, but I know a lot of others don't. When I play Des Moines, I like to play it up there. Uh, in client battles. All right, let's move on to YouTube's words out. Hey, Jackal, um, what do we got here for for C? Or sorry, um, Sleeping Giant. Sleeping Giant. I mean, the spawn is obviously going to mean a lot of travel time. A cap is going to be very hotly contested because that is the shortest travel time, I would imagine. B cap also will see a lot of action. Uh, we see, typically see destroyer battleship combination there. C and D may be a little bit less contested just due to the travel time, but mm -hmm. I would expect that to be. Uh, played more from a defensive stance, you could probably see some three ship pushes, four ship pushes down that seven, eight, nine corridor, uh, just yeah. depending on the caller, obviously. But yep. uh, that A cap, obviously, with the with the cap being over that island, we're going to see a lot of destroyers and heavy cruisers just hugging that island for dear life, mm -hmm. especially on the outside of that island. Oh, absolutely. You're talking about over here at A and the A cap, this one. Yeah, uh, on oh, yeah. The Echo and Foxtrot one. Yep, yeah. yep, that's going to become even more important real estate than it already is. We see a lot of ships usually just playing over there for that island. That's going to become a murder <laughs> zone. Um, oh, also, we're noticing, noting is the change in cap layout or spawn layout, because normally spawns were on the top right and bottom right corners. So mm -hmm. that's going to, that's really going to mix it up a bit. Um, but travel time is going to be, yeah, travel time is going to be much longer uh, yeah. going to those further caps just because of the spawn. Yeah. Bear and Mogador are going to be like, if they do individual ship bans, they're going to be like the most commonly banned ships because of, of the cap layouts and, and the spawns. All right, tell us about yeah. Trap. What do you think about Trap? Um, trap. That large cap, yeah, that large corner and the cap in the corner is uh, preposterous. Uh, we're really just going to see a lot of passive defensive play there from like Napoli's or yeah. uh, other stealthy cruisers. Um, B cap again. Prop B cap is very hotly contested just because of how many entrances and exits there are. Yeah, that's uh, the C and D. We're going to see a lot of if uh, we're going to see a lot of wide flanking like Moskva Nevsky action, or yeah. potentially Marseille rushes down up to A ten, mm -hmm. Alpha ten, Bravo ten, just because of the travel time and because there's actually a reason to island hop going from uh, you know. D to the D cap to the C cap and yep. vice versa, of course. Yep. All right, let's move on then to hotspot. Hotspot again, long travel time to the A and B cap, the defensive side. So we're going to see fast destroyers, faster cruisers. Uh, yep. If Nevsky is not limited, I would expect to see that. But I was, mm -hmm. um, we're going to see a lot of uh, actually, I would say less action in that Thunderdome area in Echo. Uh, I believe that's seven eights mm -hmm. and Fox brought seven eights uh, just because there's no cap on that. But I would not be surprised if there were some uh, unexpected shoves straight through the middle of that or over top. Uh, just, you know, and C cap's obviously going to be the usual destroyer hot zone. Uh, oh. But this time, because. Go ahead. Uh, just because of the fact that there's no cap in Thunderdome, we're just going to see a lot more uh, outside island play rather than. The destroyers hawking it into the uh, into that Thunderdome. So it's going to be interesting just, because. No, oh, go ahead. Sorry. It's just going to be a lot more spread out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really going to be concentrated per se. This is like the traditional spot where you see people contest. This is the traditional sea cap. Thunderdome on this map, Duckman is is surrounded by these islands where the traditional sea cap is. So. A lot of players are used to these islands, and they, they, they've sighted them, they know where they can park, they know where they can shoot from it, or they can know where they can be to shoot people in safe spots in those islands, etc., etc. So moving the cap, the hope is that ships will feel less inclined to go to the same traditional spots, and in a sense, like I think Minnie was saying, we get more action, more movement. Um, Duckman, you said with Trap, there's nowhere to hide without taking yourself out of the main battle. You're talking about down here. 
I think this is one of those, again, prisoner's dilemma. You have to send one asset over here. And I, I, I agree with you, Shockwave. It's going to be like a Napoli, San Martin, whatever. Probably Napoli. But you, you, yeah. you're you literally just going to send one ship out here. This is going to be like the go play with the enemy corner. And whoever 1v1s and wins gets the cap for the team. Like, that's More literally what it's going to yeah. be. So it's going to be... I think a, one of the big things... Yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, one of the big things is just... Uh, I think what Wargame is trying to do with this new like map layout is force teams to spread their resources out rather than yeah. concentrating on one or two flanks. Uh, right. We know that this has been seen in the past. We've had a couple maps. Like, Loop has had four cap layouts in the past. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, one of the big things is, though, that with the kind of travel time, you're going to be spreading your actual resources a lot more, and you're going mm -hmm. to be trying to look more for gaps rather than trying to force through, um, yep. really just trying to force through bushes, as we've seen in previous COTS. Right. Um, Duckman, yes, these maps are from Wargaming. They have been designed and tested. Um, so this is not necessarily somebody saying, let's just go do this for whatever willy-nilly reason. My comment earlier about heat map should probably inform you kind of why they've done this. And I think Shockwave, you're right. It, it forces more spread out engagements. You'll know that it's only one battleship. You will not find a battleship over at A. It's too far out of the battle. The battleships have to be in position to cross map, especially up into the north and maybe even down here. So you're not going to see battleships moving too much from really where they're spawning. And it's going to reward battleships that are very good at long range cross map shots. Battleship players who are not, frankly, are going to get screwed in this tournament. That's true. That's true, Mini. It shows seven ships, not the nine that teams are going to play with. That That is, that is true, Mini. Okay, we talked about that one. Shatter, I don't think there's much to talk about because it hasn't changed. Shatter. Shatter is just an annoying map to play on. That's literally yeah. it. I, I, I personally hate this map. Uh, actually, I, there's like one slight change. I think if just go back really quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Zeth, if you may. Um, the only slight change that was made is that the cap is usually more centered around. Uh, I don't know what grid coordinates those are, but that cap has been moved a little bit further to the edge of the map as opposed to where it would normally sit in random battles. The A cap or the C as cap. Has both of them have actually been shifted outwards slightly hmm. because that, normally the okay. sea cap is entirely on that big island and it's been shifted out by a whole grid square mm -hmm. that's true yeah that's true both have been spread okay. out completely i think that's uh it's, we've we saw this in previous cots uh, and i think mm -hmm. it's a totally fine change uh but one of the big things is that you know, it's just more open space. You're going to be relying a lot more on smoke on the sea cap just to get that contested. Yep, absolutely. All right, and then I think Warrior's Path, the big thing is moving the sea cap over to the 7 line, 7, 8 line. Yeah. Yeah, now with, with Warrior's Path, we're going to be seeing Warrior's Path and Shatter. We're going to be yeah. seeing a lot of smoke comps. Uh, I think, well, we're going to be seeing a lot of smoke comps in general. Anyway, but mm -hmm. we're just going to be seeing a lot. We're going to be seeing a lot more smoke on average, just mm -hmm. because of how open the spaces are now, as opposed to caps where you could safely park a destroyer and contest it. Uh, right, and, and you could opt to have your cruisers a little more defensive. And you're right, Mini. A cap is also moved. A cap used to be surrounding this island. Now it's to the side of it. So destroyers can't just hide behind it like they have in the past. I mean, they still will try, but they won't be able to cap if they're hiding. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and and and, and that that that's it for the maps. Yeah. All right. Let this me get. This is of... going to be interesting for sure. Mm hmm. So the Ender King of the Sea is competing team clans so have to fight their way. You get qualification points. So here's the current distribution of points. A number of these were participating in uh, in uh, Worship Masters, TDB Rain, and them. Shaft, we saw, for example. Um, Moyai, oh boy, oh boy, you've seen them. Elser, Resin, KSC, Bonks are. We've seen them before in COTS. Kraken, cool to see them up there. That's probably from Clan Battle Participation. And Well Done is there as well. 3X. The 3X and 18. The AFK I saw in the last uh, tournament. BN is always strong. Epoxy, Yolo K, GGWP are up there. AOA7, Surya. 
PPI Elser is over what? What happened to 07? Yeah, they, they stopped competing. They decided to stop after a, a rather disastrous COTS, and that was it for them. STCN is over on the Asia server. Or ATFD, Elser, RCC, a uh, yeah, 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 minus one S. I've seen these before. I don't recognize a bunch of these names, though. Hmm. Okay. So, guys, um, that's going to be for North America, August 7th through 18th. Now, they don't have the times here. I would assume that they do it based off of their standard times. I think. Um, SF says we are retired. Uh, frankly, I wish you guys wouldn't be retired. Please feel free to pass that on to leadership. And I know, uh, SAT is here too. Cots isn't the same without 07. And, um, with all due respect to Elser, Resin, KSC, and Box, we, you know, we, we need a, we need a strong team on NA. We need a really strong team on NA to compete with EU and internationals. Now, this is a regional yeah. tournament, which means that these these teams are going to fight it out every every team is going to fight it out on their respective server and the grand finals will be winning that region there will be no international here in august okay there will be no internationals in august um and then there's supposed to be an international like this is just a qualification tournament there will be an international tournament aka eu regional two <laughs> valiant right um but that'll that'll be later whenever that is um we have no idea if there will be special things special drops for tuning in um honestly you should tune in anyway kotz is one of the best tournaments out there in world of warships it's a shame that we don't have three weekends for na but uh, honestly that's okay because august 31st september 1st for me personally is a bad weekend um so we, they haven't mentioned times yet you may find me streaming eu and na because i did that last time where the qualification points come from? I don't know. They they didn't they didn't say. They just said here. Competitive events throughout the year, which include Worship Masters. They're supposed to also be from clan battles, but they keep saying clan battles uh, don't count from when they did the uh, they did the uh, whatever uh, booster thing. So I like the logo though. I like the I like the ship. That's cool. I like okay, so that's the one thing I'm excited about with with King of the Sea is the local guys. <laughs> oh god, okay, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what camel they come up with to go along with this logo and the and the theme that's inspired by it. But 